I'm Ted Norby, Director of Instruction for the National University Golf Academy. Today we're going to talk a little bit about getting the club on plane, backswing. Uh, a lot of people talk about hinging the club on the backswing or setting the club on the backswing, but there's also some forearm rotation in the backswing. If all I do is just set the club up and then rotate my body, that club is never going to get on plane. A lot of people talk about the club setting up into that right hand. Well, that gets the club a little more straight up and down instead of tilting this way, but we need to get it on plane, which is this almost 45 degree angle kind of coming back behind the body. Everybody talks a little bit differently about swing plane, exactly what this shaft line should be, but there should be some tilt to this shaft. To do that, there needs to be some rotation in the forearms to get it in the right place. Again, what most people do is they just kind of hinge the club up or they pull it back. What I want to do is hinge the club up in front of me, but then there is some forearm rotation. It's almost like the weight of the club kind of falls down into that right hand. So one of the best ways to really get that where it should be at the halfway back spot would be to just get the butt of the club kind of leveraging down away from your body, which gets the club head up. That's the hinging part of it. Now let the right forearm rotate so the weight of the club kind of falls into that right hand. Now I'm not cranking my left shoulder up. Make sure that your elbows are both still pointing down. But as I let this rotate, it's almost the two bones in my right forearm and wrist are kind of rotating over to the side. So if I get up here, then let it fall. Now all I'm really doing is just turning my shoulders from that spot. So if I show it to you from this view, if I leverage the club up, let it set, now you can see that my hands are just right down in front of my chest. I'm not lifting them up over my head, but I'm just kind of getting the club to go out and set. Then I'm going to let that right forearm rotate. And if from this spot right here, all I do is turn my shoulders, now you can see that my left arm, the shaft, everything's basically on plane with my shoulder, with my spine angle, and with that original shaft line where we started. And that's really where we're looking for. As I start turning my body back, there's a setting of the club, there's a hinging of the club, and there's some rotation in my forearm to get the shaft on plane. Very easy drill, like I said, butt of the club works away. Just feel the club kind of fall into your right hand and then just make some turns. Now, do that from the address position and try to get to that same spot. So I've hinged, I've set the club into my right hand, and there's a little forearm rotation to get the club on plane. From here, I'm just gonna turn and then I can go out toward the target. So let there be some forearm rotation to get the club on plane on the backswing.